Welcome back to another vlog everyone. Today we're looking at a chateau for sale and you might recognise some of the problems they've had inside. The order of today's vlog is a little bit different but up there on that turret was a bit different as well so we thought we'd start off up there and now we're going to go back outside and meet the estate agent. Hey Dana, welcome. Hi Matthew, nice to see you again. <laughs> Hi Matthew, how are you doing? So we've got a little friend as well, this is the uh, owner's dog. Uh, but Matthew doesn't speak a lot of English so if anybody's interested, we his will. details are in the description. But it's going to be up to me and Joanna to show everyone this little bijou. And you've made another friend. Yeah, this is Paco. He's adorable. I'm surprised he's not got a mate called Raban. <laughs> right, Paco, away you go. So today's chateau is a bit different from the last couple of chateaux, um, but it has been renovated. Uh, it leaves certain elements that can still be renovated. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just one of those. I think it, rather than talk about it, let's, let's show everyone the kind of design choices that have made here. Yes. So as you can see, there's been some nice olive trees planted, some really nice rose trees bushes planted. It's got a brand new wall at the front to kind of give a bit of privacy from the road because it is quite close to a road. Um, and it has brand new uh, aluminium shutters and windows. So you kind of know that you, you, you've got quite a few years there and you won't have to renovate those. Um, they're in anthracite grey. Um, which maybe is not to everyone's taste, but I, re I really think it goes very well with the stone. It does, it complements it. It complements it in a modern way. And I think yeah. you'll see as we go around, it's very similar throughout the house. Let's go inside and check it out. As soon as you come in from the front door, you're into the kitchen, really nicely appointed. Uh, with a thin, thin worktop and nice shiny white uh, curved units um, and this kind of curved wall that goes well with it. Um, there are lots of kind of gadgets, you know, like kind of, I think this is a doorbell, doorbell gadget here, I think there's a video, yeah, there's a video there for the door as well. That is the front door, but there's another door on the side and we'll come back to that in a minute um, because there's a carport with lots of lots more gadgets on the carport but if you come through in here it's nice and airy and you go through out to the back and really you can you can see this kind of modern feel with sliding doors out onto onto the pool deck so it's pretty nice in that way and um, yes there's character characterful bits missing but i think the bits that have been put in here actually complement the outside of the house and make up for those kind of mouldings and, and fireplaces that are missing. Ed, before going outside there, that looks really nice. I think we should see the rest of the downstairs inside. What do you think? Yeah, it makes sense. If you look at this massive kind of uh, alcove here, that is the e extent of the original building. Everything past it is kind of an extension. So let's go and finish off the original building first and then have a little look outside of what they've been up to. So here we are in the living room and where you've lost again the original feature of uh, moulding and things, these guys have done a really good job 
make a little kind of alcove on the top of the uh, walls to kind of have a recess behind. I don't know whether there's LED lighting in there, but some people like to put LED lighting in there. Um, front to back windows, which is really nice, and out onto that terrace where you've got the pool area we're coming back to. Nice big opening as well through to the dining room. All of this downstairs has had an extensive renovation on the floors and they are actually heated with the other floor heating and it's quite technologically advanced, a bit like the, the a chateau that we looked at a, a few months ago. And basically you've got 24 volt photovoltaic uh, solar, panels. solar panels outside and then underground heating, under floor heating with the uh, pump, the heat pump and then upstairs some air conditioning with heat pump too. But, uh, but it means you don't have radiators in the room, it's, it kind of gives a cleaner look, I suppose, if that's what you're going for. So in the dining room, again, it's a modern kind of ceiling with a really modern um, fireplace. But, I don't know, they've got snooker cues. They're not there for, just for looking pretty, Ed, although they look amazing. Look at this table here. Ah. Okay, so the dining room table this is really interesting. The dining room table. Oh, oh the flower head! <laughs> actually, is a pool table. Nice. Oops, that was wrong. It's not super, it's cool. I'm going to show you again. Yes, please, Ed, show me again. I'm not going to get much more out, but you can see this, the yeah. pool balls and the snooker and the pool table, sorry. That is super cool. So as modern as some of the elements are in this place, it really does give a homely vibe, doesn't it, Anna? You yes, can, it does. You can tell that the young family that live here, they've got like three kids, I think, and, and you know, the, this is really a home. It's not kind of a museum type place. You know, it's lived in and, you know, they can, you can tell they're enjoying their, their lives here. Let's go through it into the extension and then we're going to go upstairs. There's a few more of the original features still around. Ed, you've stopped. Yeah. Well, it's the first time I've seen one of these. I, I, I presume they, if somebody asks me, does that exist? I'd say, yeah. But yeah, Smeg are making this uh, induction, uh, what French call piano. So it's kind of freestanding oven and hot plate. That is really nice. Yeah. Um, really nice little area for the fridge as well. But let's go through into this kind of extension. And, and the continuity is great. Um, yeah. So this is like the eating area. I think this is where the family probably dine on a regular basis. Through there is probably a bit more formal for them. And you know, probably spend quite a lot of time in here. Yes. I quite like it. Um, and you know, with a little, a little bit of work outside, it, it would look really stunning. Also we're in spring now, mm -hmm. so Every like it's not pool time yet, but it's going to be pool time in about 10 days roughly because you said it's going up to 27 degrees yeah like yeah, soon yeah so i mean they've got they've got the work cut out getting it ready for pool time <laughs> yeah but i mean i know i know you can do it dad you can get it ready actually be a monastery um, um, yeah I think it's quite well done really the, the kind of modern extension um, the garden is about 3,000 meters so put it in perspective if you're looking at Vilnav it's uh, at our place in, in Vilnav then you know it's probably a little bit bigger the out, out exterior space um, there's kind of like a, a garden at the bottom there that, that is past a hedge and you don't see most of it there's a really nice little uh, Kind of tree house over there probably probably not up to the same standard as my tree chateau but no one can do as good as you Ed. Um, this looks quite cool it's going to be like a little bar area i think um, of course the pool technical room will be in there as well but that looks like it's been made into a bar which is pretty cool so you've got like kind of barbecue bar i think those doors open so you can get in and out of the kitchen quite easy 
Shall we go upstairs and have a look at the bedrooms? That sounds like a great idea. Before we go upstairs, there is this little area here that we forgot to show. So this is the side entrance. Uh, carport's just to the side here, if we open it up. You can see you can park your car under there, under the, um, under the uh, solar panels. Um, I don't know whether that's direct, uh, direct charging of a car, but anyway, I think it's got a charger for an electric car. So you come in here every day and, and then you have the other front entrance and straight into that kind of living area. They have had a problem here though. Um, there's a roof just above this, which is a flat roof. And which looks amazing. I think that's one of my favorite, if not my favorite part. Well, yeah, I have to say flat roofs are the bane of my life. They, they, whenever I've seen them, there's always been a problem with them. Um, but they're having it completely redone. Like the guy obviously uh, who who've installed the flat roof made a mistake. And so he's coming back out to fix it. Um, but yeah, it's uh, just a little bit of work to be done there. But that's why they have the opening there, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, that's why they're, uh, they're working on this. Let's go through and up the stairs. So here we have a really old staircase, probably dates back to the monastery. And uh, it keeps going up, we'll go up there in a minute, but we're going to go straight through here into the uh, master bedroom first and then a quick look at the other bedrooms and up top. Here we are in the master bedroom, really light and airy again. Lots of storage for clothes, but you noticed something, Anna? I did, Ed. This is becoming a calling card of uh, looking around Chateau, isn't it? Yes, it's. I like it. I like it a lot. Go in the bathroom, Ed, and wave at us. Because it's a nice big bathroom with a sliding door as well. And, yeah, we can see you, Ed. I think it's pretty cool. I like that they've, how they've incorporated. So obviously this, this has got a really nice shower there, sink. Pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. And I like the sliding door as well. Yeah. And one of the things that I really like of this bedroom is these big windows. Yeah. Come on then, Anna. Out onto the terrace. It's normally completely um, tiled over, but because of the problems they've been having, they've had to take the tiles up, but they're all coming back. There we go. I like this. Yeah, I mean, you can imagine having a coffee up there in the morning. Yeah. Away from the kids. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then through around here, you've got, you see the whole, Garbage, really. Yes. And then these are the tiles that they're, they're actually taking up. I mean, they're quite easy to put back down again, uh, but there's been some kind of issue with this rubber mat. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's all got to be redone. But yeah, these are pretty lovely tiles that they've got on here. They are very nice. And I like even the what they've chosen to do the edging there. The glass barrier to stop the falling. Nice. Very, very nice. This chateau is in Bordeaux Cub. Uh, Bordeaux Cub is the kind of inside of the ring road. So if you imagine our passion projects on the outside of the ring road, this is just a little bit closer to Bordeaux. It's the same village though. It's in Villeneuve d'Ornon again. And um, yeah, it's quite a good little commuter village really. When I say commuter village, it's only 15 minute drive to, to the centre. And there are actually trams that take you in as well. So it's quite well situated. Uh, let's keep up look at these bedrooms. So we're coming out of the master bedroom. There are a few kids' bedrooms along here. Um, pretty kind of as you'd expect with kids. And this is kind of like the uh, the master, well not the master, but the main bathroom. So shower, bath. And then another bedroom just there, but we want the kids' bedroom there, yes. So Which we'll... is quite so three bed like three parents. bedrooms plus the parents on this floor. Mm-hmm. Well, let's go up again. Yes. 
Nice. It's a nice little touch, really. Uh, it is. It is very, yeah. very nice. There are still parts that they still have to renovate. Yeah, I think it's kind of, they must have been DIYing this um, along with their normal job. So I think they probably work quite hard on this. Yes. Uh, let's go, go up and see what's up here. This bedroom, I'm not so sure it's 100% finished, the bathroom doesn't look finished, but it is probably one of the nicer bedrooms in the whole place. It's got stunning wood features up here, so the carpentry is amazing. So I think they've done really well to keep these beams exposed like they have. Um, I presume they've insulated well behind that plasterboard, but even so there's air conditioning up here. So, uh, you know. Even on the hottest summer day, you're not going to get hot up here. No, it's very, very clever. And obviously, this has its own bathroom. Yeah, it has its own bathroom, so it's a little all sweet, but it's not quite finished. And uh, great views of the garden from up here. But yes. probably not the best views of the garden, because we're going to go somewhere now that's even more special. And that is up at the top, and you get a 360 degree view up there of the area. Let's go. the tower isn't that Ed? Yeah, and I think this is possibly the smallest door I've ever seen. It is tiny, <laughs> but efficient. But, yeah, I mean, when, when you're going up a staircase like this, if you're bending anyway because of the ceiling, it's fine to get out. There you go. Very nice, I like this. considering uh, we are quite really in city centre, aren't we? Yes. Um, so this place, yeah, I think we've pretty much seen everything. Maybe look down from up here. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, the solar panels, yes. Which is quite interesting because it's nice to have, well, to be not self-sufficient, but to be able to... Produce electricity. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, so it's a nice big car park area, so if you have lots of guests, it's fine. Um, we're not looking at this for ourselves, by the no. way. We, we thought we'd just show this place. It's a bit different from, from other things around the area. Um, also, it gives us ideas. Like, I always wanted, like, a terrace. <laughs> a roof terrace? A roof terrace, yes. That's one of my things I always wanted. And now I'm re rethinking it, aren't I? Yeah. Um, but I, I, I don't know the technology, to be honest, if... if uh, if there was a good company kind of that wasn't making a mistake on it, then uh, might be okay to do. So this place is actually on at 1.8 million euros. I think there's quite a bit of wiggle room there on that price though. Um, so if anybody is interested, uh, you want to make your own impression on this place, uh, Mathieu's details are actually in the description of this video. And uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let's get a look at a different place. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, pop a comment, what are your thoughts on this place, and of course, subscribe if you've not already subscribed. See you all next week.